Hello, friends and fellow alchemists. Okay, last time, wowzers, we went and, uh, oh, we don't have a village brew and we don't have a kitty brew. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, we went into the forest and did a whole pile of uh, running around like a loony, trying to find ourselves. Uh, I thought maybe there would be a waypoint or something more like obvious um, to do with how you, you, like if there's a progression point or something. It didn't seem like there is. And so I went, okay, that's fine. Let's continue. Uh, I think next time we need to have energy elixirs or something. Oh, I don't have the flower needed. Oh, what flower do I need? Bell flowers. We got those coming out of our teeth. Let's put down honey. Okay, what do they want? Do they, they want different things each? I have no idea. That's interesting. Okay, so our bee production has come to a standstill. Now we need to go and see uh, Aiden Locky Wave. We have to give him some junk. Let's go and see where he is. Uh, it is Aiden, right? Yeah. Let's go see Aiden. Where is he again? Is he up here? There we go. All right, Aiden. Now we, uh, what else do we need to do? I think we need to go talk to the goat. That's an important thing. We'll go do that. We'll talk to uh, Aiden. Clearly we need to get some more ingredients as we've blown through a bunch of that. The forest, that was, it, it be, is, it's like a little stress fest as you get near the end there and you're trying to barrel through and you're like, no, it's not happening. Oh, that fish is on land and wants to be caught by me just grabbing it. I think that's a catfish. I don't think it is. I think that fish is just, it's, it's, Deciding, it's like, do I want to evolve or do I want to just stay where I am with my lot? I think I am interested in uh, walking, but I'm going to keep in the water for now. No, no fish for me. Let's just go see Aiden. Hey, buddy. How's the fishing today? Let's chat. You f Yo, you found the sunfish. I wasn't sure you'd be able to catch any, honest. But as a pro promise is a promise, so here's the fishy drink recipe. Just drink one before going fishing. You'd be real lucky that day. Okay, let's check your shop out. No, I want none of the things you have. He sells moonfish. Um, which seems like we might... I wonder if we can only get those from him as we don't get to stay up all night. I wonder if that's an uh, Aid and Lucky Fish special that we're going to have to work with him in order to get the moonfish or something. I don't know. Okay, now we want to go, I think, this way, towards the, the rocks to uh, find ourselves at the mines. I like the, the, the kind of the visual language that they give you here. I've never really paid attention, I, other than I was trying to find the forest previously. But now that I see the mountains, it go, I, it's like, oh, this is, it is super obvious. <laughs> it really, it's one of those things, it should be far less arduous for me to find things than it is. But I'm thinking about other things. I'm thinking, where are we going next? What else do we have to do? There's always another thing. Okay, grab, got some loot here. Ooh, we're at 2,000 now, which means we need to definitely go and... Uh, we need to get some stuff soon. We need to open up another plot, things like that. Okay, where is the mine exactly? Mm-hmm. Okay, are you over... No, that's the that's William at the lumber yard. Let's go see what's over this way. The mine. There we go. Okay, we were on the right track. Wasn't sure how far along we had to go, and if we had already gone, maybe too far. No, there we are. Now I see it. So we'll see that goat, and soon enough we'll get to transform the goat back, which is exciting. I notice I have not been working at all on like my friendships or relationships in this game. I'm mostly just trying to get through all of this stuff. You came back here, even if I, after I warned you? That's just foolish, but I can respect someone who wants to mine as much as I do. I'm not here to go mining. I'm here to help you. Huh. What do you think I need your help? Well, you're a goat. Good point. Okay, so I think we're going to have probably at least another day with the goat. Um, I don't think we're at the point. We should go talk to Edward. 
He'll tell us to come and find things that are goat related about goat life. The goat life, uh, he'll have left things like this lantern. Okay, we have already we can already find them. So there's one memento. That, that lantern definitely seemed like a uh, good one. Oh, uh, we found another. I don't even know what that was. Where does a goat leave its mementos? A coffee mug? Again, I always feel like that's the memento I'm going for. If uh, I ever turn into an animal and people are looking for mementos, I can assure you a coffee cup will be one of them. Just FYI, keep an eye out. And... Oh, is it this gold on the ground here? Is that his memento? That must be. Yes, okay. We'll go and talk to the goat again, even though I suspect it's going to be another day. Yeah, the goat's got nothing to say to us. It's like, mm, why are you talking to me again? I vaguely remembered for a minute who I was, but now I'm still a goat. So, okay, let's take a look at these signs, see where we are. Study, okay. There we are. Let's go talk to Edward, right? Yes. You're looking well, Arabella. I'm glad you moved into that old house. Okay, blah, 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 ghosts. Okay, now he's, he's whatever. Okay, so we get the sleepy drink recipe, Amity potion recipe. Oh, to like ability. Learn how to uh, brew a sleepy drink. Teleport back home and fall asleep instantly. Wow. Okay, so we've we've learned a couple more recipes. How much do we have now? 692. Okay. It's going to be a bit. It's going to be a little bit. Let's go get this ladybug. Let's head on into the library here. Let's go check out the circle. See? Okay, they don't remember their name yet. So we're going to have to... We got the three things. We're going to have to go and talk to them another day. I like that the things just appeared there. That's good. So we're well on our way. That's that's perfect. Exactly where we want to be. I do feel like I'm almost going to have to um, drink a thing to uh, remember more. <laughs> like where uh, the artifacts are, because we don't seem to be digging those up very often. Although I have no idea how many there are, even. Is that is that a thing that's in our... Let me take a look here. We've got... Okay. So, I'd see we have a variety of things we don't know what they are yet. We don't know what we don't know. We've got mm, half the potions, maybe. Okay. So, six poppy to William. So we gotta see William, and that's about it. Okay, uh, yeah, we've got Poppy and we've got Honey, I think. Okay, so let's go and see William. Where is he at again? Is it over here? There we go. Probably not too far from here, is it? We'll get some stuff while we're at it. I gotta say, I like wandering around the town so much more than I like the act of uh, going through the forest. The forest is kind of cool the first couple times, and then, like most of these things, it just gets very tedious. There's not enough repetition, but I suspect I'm kind of doing it all wrong and probably should have only barreled through there a few times. That's my gut on that, but I could be wrong. Uh, let's see, is William at home? Here he is. Well, hello, William. It's good to see you. Let's chat. Is this gift the gift for Jasmine? The flowers look great. I hope she'll enjoy her gift and open up a bit more. Oh, he's all about that, eh? Now, what does a golden axe do? It's okay, like, I... It's at the... Oh, I could buy it. Oh, that is excellent. Okay, see you soon, buddy. That was fully and entirely worth that money. Okay. We are going to get through a lot easier now, because that was part of our problem. Oh, the gnomes gave me a, a pumpkin. Isn't that nice? Thank you. Now I wonder if we're going to be able to get like a diamond axe or something. That would be pretty cool. Hey, little critters. How are you doing? Hey, Noah, what's going on? What's the what? No, he's just got critters and fur. Let's talk to him. The sky is beautiful today. Yeah, it sure is. I bet we'll be a lucky day for you, Ara. 
Thanks, buddy. Okay, here's... Well, I'm going to leave the butterfly. Let's just get these flowers. Now, I wonder if we get home, if we can go and throw some stuff uh, down for the... Um, the honeybees. Okay, what do we got here? Right, the boutique. We're... Nah, we're not going to worry about it. I don't feel like we are very good merchants at the moment. <laughs> Is it that we I just don't have anything... Oh, okay, so I've got to sell a few things. All right. I see. You know what? I assumed this would be a repeat thing. That is 100% what I assumed. I didn't realize that this would be a... Um, one of those things where we'd have to um, come back. Okay. And, and do this daily. I totally get this now. This makes so much more sense. Once again, I've played this, you know, in terms of like right or wrong, I've played this game at a very, um, let's say, much slower pace than uh, I think some people probably would have. I've poked about trying to understand, um, like once you understand the game, the game seems very obvious and you go, oh yeah, okay, obviously that's how you play it. Whenever I play a new game, I always kind of give it a, instead of just assuming I know the systems and then getting annoyed when the systems don't meet my expectation, I have a tendency, I think, to uh, not really think about any of the systems too much and uh, and just try to under, I give it like a blank slate. I just go, okay, what's this game about? Let's figure it out. But that's, you know, oh, it doesn't always lead to the desired results. Sometimes you play through a game a little bit longer than you should or that would be expected and it's funny because i think sometimes that's where people uh get kind of like why are why is it taking you so long to figure something out and i just i again i just kind of come at it with a bit of a blank slate okay garden bed is 350 i don't have enough for that so we got to see uh, her another day 10 11 12 14 oh i forgot i was counting seeds now i'll have to start over Eh, you'll be fine Okay, let's get these. Um, yeah, I think that might be a good chunk of the reason why I, you know, I play. I think I just approach games slightly differently, which again I think drives some people slightly bonkers. But uh, yeah, works for me. I think it's fun to to kind of just see where I, sometimes games do unexpected things you know um an interesting one lately was uh somebody's been watching through early uh stardew valley and you know banging their head uh, that i didn't notice that the little wormy artifact spots that wiggle that you can hoe those i did not even occur to me to to hoe them because there is moving you know there's some weird little squiggly sprites that move i assume that was just an animation and not something that you could actually do for the longest time which uh you know whatever is what it is but i think that drove uh somebody slightly crazy because it they knew that information and it's interesting because if you if you know the information and you're watching someone else do it it's infuriating because you go this isn't how you're supposed to do it why don't they know this and people forget that they at one point didn't know the information and had to learn it and I don't generally consult any, uh, you know, um, quote unquote cheat books or anything. Like I don't, I, I just try to find my way through a game. That's how I, I'm an old gamer. So for me, uh, I just play it the way, you know, figure it out, unlock the systems, figure out what the designer's doing, but that's not how everybody wants to play. And nowadays people don't have to play that way. I started gaming well before there was an internet. So it wasn't as simple as just look up the answer and uh, figure it out and you'll know. You you had to take notes. You had to really, you talk to other people that you knew that might be playing the same game. It was a different experience. But I think that's why I come at it from a very different approach. Which I think drives some people nuts because it's, if you're a younger gamer, that's not, you've always had the internet. You don't even think that you 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 could just want to kind of um cut from a to z in terms of the 
design of the game. I want to know how to min-max this. I want to know how to do this best. And you can do that. And that doesn't interest me a lot. I like to find that out on my own, largely. There's the odd thing I will look up if I get stuck or... You know, it's just you really want to know, like, what's the price of a thing when the, the game doesn't provide an easy system to figure it out. Like Animal Crossing, it, a weird thing I find about it is that once you sell stuff, you should kind of know how much things are worth. It doesn't really have an easy, clean way to give you that information. Um, there's no obvious menu where you go, oh yeah, I, you know, this fish is worth 600. So you kind of rely on crowdsourcing. It's kind of like Minecraft uh, initially. A terrible, I mean, as most people would, from a game design perspective, it's kind of awful not knowing. Although they've changed that design radically over the years. When it first came out in Java, it was very like convoluted, so you had to figure it out. It's just different. Different ways, different games approach things differently, and people forget that not everybody knows everything off the bat, and it, the key is go out there and have some fun. Figure it out. Unlock it. I like games like this, and I think people that watch these kinds of series come from a di same similar perspective. It's like you just, you're just you going to explore around, and the, some designers will try and do things different, and we want to see when they do it, because it's neat. At any rate, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.